So behind me is the Burstner Lexeo Summer Edition. On the European market second hand, you can purchase something like this between 50 and 60K. So if you want to know what it looks like, let's have a look. So today we're checking out the 726G of Burstner Lexeo. And vehicles like this come in different setups. You can choose between separate beds, queen's bed, fixed bed. But today we're checking out separate beds. The a good little extra for having separate or a fixed bed is that you have a nice garage in the rear which we'll check out right now so most of these vehicles it's not only Bursner have this give you a good example of how big this is this garage is big enough to put some push bikes maybe an electric bike or a small uh, a small moped maybe like a Vespa I mean you could put a mattress here and have like an extra little room for the kids or Maybe even your husband when you're in a little fight. Good thing about these ones is that you actually can access from this side and from this side. I really like the colors of this specific edition, the orange and the dark gray really do it for me. So this one is based on a 130 multi-head Fiat and together with Iveco, Fiat makes the best and most popular engines when it comes to RVs in Europe. And you can see, the front here, if you know a couple of Fiat's, then you see that this is the new edition. I think they started 2015. And actually, we can have a little turnaround and behind you is the 2013 edition of an Adria. And you see the difference. So you can see the difference in the headlights for 2013. It doesn't really mean that one is better than the other one. But if you see the light, nice and sleek profile, you know it's a newer vehicle. And so even though the other one may just be as good, I really like this design. It just, look, it just looks sleek, low profile, and look like mean eyes, you know? So the hood, it just, it's a nice, sleek look. And as you can see from the outside, there's actually a roof on top, which I will show you inside of how it looks exactly. So if you notice, this vehicle is a little bit higher above the wheels and this is perfect if you do tend to go on those off-roads little sandy paths. As you can see I really like the outside of the Burstner so let's have a little look inside. So as you can see swivel chairs up front which makes a nice seating area for five persons and when you are sitting with five persons you may think this table is a little bit too small and therefore they came up with this little trick extra table underneath so I can work here we can eat here I can dine with the whole family if I want and this is right in front of the TV right over there so I really see myself sitting here in the evening glass of wine some cheese what I really like is right over there so above me is a big skylight which means that during the day there's enough light coming in and in the evening it's watching the stars baby around me enough space and area to store stuff extra cabinets lights and up front in the cabin you can see that the newer fiat just has a very smooth and modern look we've got a navigation here with bluetooth the nice panels over here which just scream luxury so this is a six gear engine, which means that it's pretty good on diesel. There's some cups over here. And overall, this is just a very nice looking vehicle up front. So you may think, where does everybody sleep? Well, to start with, above here, without you knowing, is an extra double bed hidden in the roof. And by pushing one of these buttons, we can show the magic. There we go. So this bed is, an, is big enough for two or three people to sleep in. And it's perfect because it's above the living area. So if you're with two people in a vehicle like this, even though, even though you may not always be with two people, you don't have to have that bed all the time around. So this is a perfect little hidden bed above the live area. Nowadays, nobody lives without a TV, so obviously there's one inside of the motorhome. With a dish up top, you have reception everywhere you are in Europe. It's actually not one, but two TVs in the motorhome. But for now, let's move on to the kitchen first. So the L-shaped kitchen gives you enough place to work, store, whatever you want. As you can see, there's just 
enough space to put whatever you need in the kitchen. And with the three top stove, it's pretty easy to even cook for four people at the same time. Besides that, look at the size of this fridge. With the freezer right over here, it will definitely give you enough storage to put all your stuff. So obviously in a motorhome, you usually shower and the toilet gets all wet. Burstner thought of a little extra ID to get rid of this problem. So if you have a look inside, you'll see that right over here is a little switch you can open and turn this toilet into a shower. So in the rear of the vehicle, we have a separate bed setup, which means that on my left and on my right, we have two single beds that together make a double bed. And it's pretty easy to swift this out to make a normal double bed. And it gives you the perfect access to get out in the night without stumbling over each other. Also where you find a second TV and a nice skylight to look at the stars when you're sleeping. This is what you get if you spend between 50 and 60 thousand euro for a motorhome. It gives you quality, luxury and a nice use of space. So I'm just going to enjoy this for a little bit. And thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you next time.